Good morning, this is Thursday, May the 5th, 2016, reading from my utmost for its highest, Judgment on the Abyss of Love, 1 Peter 4.17, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. The Christian worker must never forget that salvation is God's thought, not man's. Therefore, it is an unfathomable abyss. Salvation is the great thought of God, not an experience. Experience is only a gateway by which salvation comes into our conscious life. Never preach the experience. Preach the great thought of God behind. When we preach, we are not proclaiming how man can be saved from hell and be made moral and pure. We are conveying good news about God. In the teachings of Jesus Christ, the element of judgment is always brought out. It is the sign of God's love. Never sympathize with a soul who finds it difficult to get to God. God is not to blame. It is not for us to find out the reason why it is difficult but so to present the truth of God that the Spirit of God will show what is wrong. The great sterling test in preaching is that it brings everyone to judgment. The Spirit of God locates each one to himself. If Jesus ever gave us a command, he could not enable us to fulfill. He would be a liar. And if we make our inability a barrier to obedience... It means we're telling God there is something that he has not taken into account. Every element of self-reliance must be slain by the power of God. Complete weakness and dependence will always be the occasion for the Spirit of God to manifest his power. Wisdom from Oswald Chambers Baffled to Fight Better it is not what a man does that is of final importance, but what he is in what he does. The atmosphere produced by a man, much more than his activities, has the lasting influence. The hymn, What Wondrous Love Is This, by Alexander Means, 1835. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul? For my soul to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. When I was sinking down, sinking down, sinking down. When I was sinking down, sinking down. When I was sinking down, be God's righteous frown, Christ laid aside his crown for my soul, for my soul, Christ laid aside his crown for my soul. To God and to the Lamb I will sing, I will sing, to God and to the Lamb I will sing. To God and to the Lamb who is the great I am. While millions join the theme, I will sing, I will sing. While millions join the theme, I will sing. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. And when from
from that time free I'll sing and joyful be and through eternity I'll sing on I'll sing on and through eternity I'll sing on Father we thank you that we can be lost in your love. Surround us and fill us, saturate us, and join your spirit with our spirit today. Allow our mind to be renewed. You have given us your clean heart. Let us lay down all those things that would separate us from you. Oh, what a wondrous love you have given us. Oh, what a dreadful curse that you took on yourself, sweet Jesus. Father, whether we feel ourselves sinking or rising, wherever we are today, thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you that you have called us to worship and that we will sing on. No matter what the world might say, we will say, we serve a risen Savior. Father, be in us today so that we can say, Jesus is in the world today, and he will be in the world today through me. Father, let us choose life and be done with death. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.